Habits are hard to make and even harder to keep. I've built a custom habit tracker in Coda that's going to enable you this year to truly keep your habits. Um, it's a premium Coda template that I've built that uses tons of Coda magic, hidden formulas, and more. So first, I'm going to show you a walkthrough of how this works, if you're going to use it to track your habits this year, and then a behind-the-scenes look at some of the hidden formulas and infrastructure that makes this document work as beautifully as it does. So stick along with me. Here we go. All right, let's start digging into this habit tracker and see how it works. This is your main habit tracking page. It allows you to track and log your habits on a daily basis, right? So if your habit is water and your goal is to drink two times a day, you come here and you press your log button. Log, you get a little celebration as well that allows you to see that. Notice that what this does is it opens a ability to comment on that. Like you could say, water, I drank eight ounces. Um, but that won't happen with everyone because sometimes you just want to log things quickly. So let's say you want to log that you made the bed one time a day. We don't need a journal about that or comment about that. So you simply press log, right? Or maybe you want to drink coffee two times a day. And so you log that and it simply logs it. But there's other ones like cooking where you may want to enable this idea of commenting on these habits to say, this is what I cooked, or I cooked lunch, or I cooked something amazing. And so when you press that, that actually comes up and you are able to customize that option of which buttons allow you to comment and therefore keep better track of your habits and what you're doing. And that would be in your set habits area. So in your set habits, you simply have an enable comments. So notice that water and cooking enables comments and that um, the rest of them don't. So if I go and enable comments on journaling, if I go back to my habit tracker and I journal, I can say, hey, I journaled, and it should open that up for you. Ah, silly me. I didn't enable it on um, journaling. I didn't exercise. So here we go. Journal. Let's try that again. Habit tracker, journal. It was a great sesh. All right. Um, so this, this page is great, right? It also gives you this idea of whether you met something or not, it tells you whether you met your goal, and it gives you some progress. But it also has these special hovering abilities so you can see more data. Hover over that, and you'll see that you have logged it three times today. You last logged it, gives you the exact time, and it gives you your daily streak for day goals. So drinking coffee, uh, I've hit this goal too. That's my greatest streak. So it's going to Calculate all of that information in the back end for you. Some other really cool aspects of this page specifically are these easy filters. Let's say you don't want to see any of your weekly or monthly. You can just see your day. Or you can see your week as well. Or you can see just your weeks, right? And just quickly customize what you want to see. See more information and go into it that way. You can also go in, you can click into these and see kind of a breakdown on this habit itself. Uh, you also notice you have this decommission button. You're able to decommission habits so that essentially like, I've met this, like I don't even need to track this habit anymore. Decommission a habit, you won't ever see it again. It's like it's gone, but all your data still exists. So this is the way to track your habits. Log them on a desktop, but we're not always on our desktop. We may be on the couch at the end of the night and we want to log these habits. We've created a special mobile tracking page that's just for that. So when you view this on a mobile, it's going to look like this over here. And that allows you to quickly and easily track yours on a mobile device. So that is where we are tracking these habits. But then the question comes, how do I know if I'm hitting them? What about my progress? And that's really where these daily goal and monthly goal weekly progresses come in. So these are little dashboards that will give you data on your goals. So here I have um, water. I'm checking water. My target is two times a day. On average, I've hit it this many times. My longest streak is this. And this is the percentage of days that I've been tracking that I've hit that goal. Yes, no, 9.09%. And here's the amount of times I've logged it per day. So just some quick and easy data for you. Uh, notice that these are just the day ones. I can see journaling as well. I'm not a good journaler, as you can tell. Uh, drink coffee. Also not good at drinking coffee, but you can see that same thing for exercise. Exercise is a bit different, right? You've got weeks and so you can see your goal met two times a week, 1.6, similar graphs, but you can also plug into these and you can go see January 1st through 7th. I logged it three times and these are the days that I logged it. You can kind of see that metadata on those different days. Month, very similar, but you have the different months. So you can go and see, read a book and you can see for the whole year when or when you did not meet different goals. You can go off oh, February. I read a book, target was one time a month, and here's these different times I read a book. 
Um, so those are just some really good ways to kind of keep this metadata on. Am I reaching my goals? Am I reaching my habits or not? And it's really going to help you reach those goals. Now, let's get a little into setting habits. How do we set and create habits? So what we're going to do is you have all your habits here. And this is where you can simply modify them. Let's say drinking water two times a day is way too easy for you. You can just adjust that. And now you have a new goal. That's it. Uh, you can also undecommission things. You can also change their interval to day, week, or month. Um, and you can change their name here as well. You can create new habits with this button. And you can say, my habit is to uh, YouTube video. I want to do one YouTube video a week. And I'm going to enable comments for this one because I want to track how I'm doing towards that. So that is a new thing that I will be tracking. Um, and so that's how we modify and set habits. But frequencies, intervals, how do we deal with these? You also have a specific page that is going to allow you to kind of see and view um, aspects of this. So for example, day, right? Day, week, and month. Those are our three frequencies. These are all my daily goals. Uh, you have to choose a time and you get to choose a time that these reset at, right? Because right now I log this three times. And then at two o'clock, I've said every day at two o'clock, I want you to reset. And this will go back to zero and you'll be able to see if you meet your goals again. All of this is automated in the background. But let's say you don't want to add two. You can say, I want you to reset at midnight. Obviously, that's a better one. Same for week, right? We can say, my week begins on Sunday. And that's when I want my goals to reset. So this allows you to kind of see um, and choose when these goals are going to be reset at. And finally, there's just a, a small setting page. So this also comes with notifications. That's a really important thing about keeping and actually meeting these habits, right? Is that you remember habits are hard to keep because they're not yet a habit. So notifications, this document will notify you every day for daily goals. It will say, hey, Here's your reminder. You need to go ahead and get this daily habit in. It will remind you every week um, on the day that you set. So this reset app also chooses and sets the day you're going to get notifications. So if it's a Sunday, you'll get three notifications that say, hey, you got to exercise twice this week and you got to do one YouTube video this week. You'll get all these notifications on your phone if you have the Coda app. And so these settings, if you don't want notifications off, those aren't helpful. All you got to do is turn off that one switch zero notifications. It's as easy as that. Or let's say you're buying this template later and it's after 1-1, um, one, one, right? Maybe you didn't start on New Year's. That's fine. We can start tracking habits in February. You can say, I'm actually tracking here. And that will help all your dashboards and data kind of adjust to that date to say, hey, this person started in February. Let's not penalize them and, and say that they had a whole missed month in January. They just didn't start then. And lastly, here's just another easy way to enable comments or disable comments on your log buttons. So that is the ultimate habit tracker. If you get confused or if you buy this template and want to know how to use it, you've got a simple how to use this doc and it will remind you how to use this specifically and how to keep track of your habits. If you want to stick around, if you want to buy this, head to the um, comments below. Now I'm going to jump into a more technical oriented how this doc came together and kind of show you some behind the scenes looks at infrastructure running this doc as well as some hidden formulas that are enabling it all to happen. Let's jump in. All right. If you're a Coda nerd, this is going to be the exciting part. I'm going to show you some behind the scenes looks at how this kind of came together and what's happening in this doc. First of all, as a consultant with Coda, I get a lot of these questions. Can you make these simple check boxes that allows me to filter my tables? Yes, I can. There's a lot of ways to do that, um, but it gets a little bit complicated over the long run in order to create these. And so what I've done is I've created one simple filter that simply says filter object dot parse JSON where this row dot interval dot key equals true. And that's the whole thing that's running it. That's a confusing formula. Let's look at what it does. So first filter object. What is filter object? Filter object is on formulas. Okay. So I keep a back end page of formulas. These are formulas that are needed to run the doc, but the user doesn't have to interact with. I keep them under here just for the ability to kind of organize my docs in a way that is accessible and I can edit later on. But this is the object to access filters. So right now, let's look into it. What it says is it's an object. This is a hidden code of formula. So if you start typing a formula, you won't find that. But if you type it all the way out and do that, you'll see that it is a real formula but with this experimental tag next to it. So 
Um, this is what I did. I, I'm putting key value pairs. If you're a coder, you'll know what that means. If not, I'll explain it in a moment. But I said D uh, is the daily, W is for weekly, and M is for monthly, and these are the actual check boxes on that page. And so we can see what this actually looks like. If I say um, trim, yeah, that should work. Okay, so if I say trim, you'll notice that this is curly brace, curly brace, and it has D, true, W, true, M, true. Now, watch what happens. With, this is called JSON, and I can use parse JSON it to find certain things. So if I say filter object dot parse JSON for, and I tell it what I want. I want the D. What is the D? True. What is the W? True. What is the M? True. Let's change one of those so it makes it a little bit simpler. So let's go weekly. Let's turn weekly off. Let's go back to my page. We'll show hidden pages formulas. Um, you'll notice now that W says false on it. So I'm going to say, let's look for W. W. So notice I'm basically saying, hey, go look into this object and find whatever value is associated with the W. It's false. Okay. So that's how we're using this. And then lastly, let's take this off so it still works. Object true. There we go. All right, so what's happening then is then in my habits themselves, so let me move my face so you can see. Over here in habits, I have set, let's make all these go down, uh, wrap text, columns, and there's one that should be called, nope, this is in frequencies, DB frequencies, keys, key. So there's the D, W, and M, basically saying the W should be associated with week, M should be associated with month, and D should be associated with day. So now as we filter down this table, we're saying, hey, go look. And if this is true about the current row, show it. We're saying if the filter object dot parse JSON, so go look for the current row's key, whether that be D, W, remember that's determined by this, so that's a D key, a M key. If that current key is true, show it. If it's not, don't show it. And so that's a simple way and a scalable way to kind of build these checkbox formulas for yourself. Next up, where it's actually the object formula again, how did I build these, right? So these look like lookup chips, just like these. The lookup chip normally designates and shows, hey, this is coming from another table, and it shows you all the things in that table, and I can expand that and go see that table, right? But these are actually not coming from another table at all. These are just data within this certain, this table right here, so status, or daily streak, you'll notice that those down here, status and daily streak, are a part of this template. Where are you, daily streak? Uh, it's somewhere. Anyways, um, so what I did here is the same object formula. I'm using object, and then I'm giving them titles and a value, and a title and a value, and a title and a value, and a title and a value. So what I did is simply say, hey, um, I want a title of habit, the value is this row dot habit. I want the title of status, and that should be this row's status. What you do at the very end, and the secret to making these beautiful chips, is list combined. So if I don't add that, you get this weird big thing that's still hoverable, but doesn't look good at all. But if you string list combine on the end of it, shaboom, you get these nice little chips, hoverable and contain data from your table. It's awesome, it's wonderful. I Love it. Um, yeah, so that's just some special Coda behind the scenes work that is going on to kind of enable this to work. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Hope you track your habits. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments uh, below. Adios.